Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be checking out a brand new anime series on Netflix called Spriggan. Now, um, something interesting about this one is, um, the, 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 after watching the first trailer, I did some digging and I realized that this property has been around since the, I think, the 80s and 90s. Um, but somehow it, it went completely under my radar. I have no idea how or why. Um, because it would have come out around the time where my interest in anime kind of skyrocketed you know um, ghost in the shell um, akira and so on came out around the same time so um, somehow i missed this one um, but the moment i saw the trailer when netflix um, released a teaser um, you know it, it, there was just something it reminded me of i don't know if maybe it was the aesthetic um whether it was the synopsis but it just reminded me of a lot of the anime back from the 90s um, uh, where it doesn't have a lot of the tropes that we see today they, they had their very own tropes you know to be fair but um, it, it, it stood apart from the rest um, so did some reading and I'm like okay yeah so there was a manga there was a film uh, which I've not seen so um, I don't know depending on where this story is going um, whether it's a prequel to the movie um, I may check out the movie the film afterwards so depending on where the story goes, um, you know, we'll, we'll see. Um, one of the things I did notice, uh, you know, in the trailer itself, I think it is being animated by um, David Productions, which uh, they're kind of up and down for me. I, I'm not the biggest fan of you know, JoJo's Bizarre Adventures. I love the first season. I thought that was fantastic, but after that, it became a bit too exaggerated for me. I, I know there's a huge fan base for it, though. Um, so I'm, I'm still looking forward to it, but I did notice in the trailer there was a lot of um, 3D animation throughout. Um, and what's interesting about it is it, it didn't take me out of the trailer like like most you know 3D animation does. Um, but yeah, a lot of people think 3D animation in, in, in anime is new. It really isn't. Um, if you go back to the 90s, you'll find anime with it. Um, Ghost in the Shell standalone complex, which I absolutely loved, has reanimation. Um, but what they do is they use it on more rigid um, um, objects and not, not people, you know. So, um, cars, buildings, um, and things like that. And it works really well because I think that's where it's the animation really shines. Um, you know, I think if that we did a Gundam series or something it would work really well if done you know accurately um, I think it lends itself really well when it's used it's not being used to animate people and things that you expect to flow and move in a specific way because your brain will be able to detect that this thing is just not moving the way it should be moving um, so I think the, the the blend that they blend of 2D and 3D that I did see in the trailer for Spriggan um, worked really well. So it didn't um, you know it didn't take me out of the experience. And so um, yeah, I'm, I'm I'm hopeful that they have done a fantastic job with it. Um, yeah, I, I I think Spriggan, uh, you know, Netflix has been doing uh, a lot of anime lately. Um, some really good ones some not so great um of course we recently had um a few trailers for some other animated projects including cyberpunk um edge runner uh which i'm i'm, I'm intrigued by intrigued by still a bit you know skeptical but intrigued by um, but at the same time we do know that they've they announced that they'll be cutting their animated budget um, so I'm, I'm curious to see where this goes. Is this is this just going to be a, like a one-off? Um, I'm not sure how long the manga is. So whether this will cover the entirety of it. It's only six episodes. Um, uh, will that cover the entirety of it, and will that be all? Which isn't a bad thing, to be honest. Um, I think you know not everything needs to have several seasons as long as you tell it a, a proper story. Uh, I think that works fairly well. So. Um, definitely curious to see where, where Spriggan takes us. Um, Alright guys, um, if you want to support the channel, be sure to take a second and hit that like and subscribe button. And without further ado, let's check it out. I can't believe it. This is the ancient evil. Look at this new key. This key is not going to kill the key. Oh. A rare metal of some sort. Oh, 
Okay. He seems to know exactly what to do. Oh, well. Oh, here's our boy, whatever his name is. Alright, I can tell there's going to be a lot of catching up to do because they're just going to drop a lot of information on you. Alright, so... Is he being controlled by the object? Or is he just been undercover all this time? He's dead, he's dead, isn't he? Just gonna fall over. Yeah. Nice. Let's aim for the arms, guys. Alright, the action is gonna be pretty intense, I can tell. Alright, so we're talking about ap apocalyptic event items. They're just sitting around somewhere. We're not gonna be as easy to get down. Divine punishment! There's nothing worse. <laughs> and they just start bleeding from every orifice, probably. <laughs> oh. Smart. Ah. I really feel the impact of the punches that he's landing and I'm loving it. Didn't it crack earlier? I get a feeling he's gonna self-destruct or something. He doesn't give me the time to, you know. I don't get the impression that he's the type to just surrender. Okay, all those soldiers that just marched in all look the exact same. Oh, that was the epilogue. Oh, is that him? ヤマビシリエ教授ですか。お迎えに上がりました。あ、研究所のものです。ですね、パーソナルサポートしてピックアップ。うん。頼んでおいた件については申し訳ありません。私は送迎の担当のみで詳しいことは。いや、ケスプ
Oh, she doesn't recognize him, so I guess they're not the same person. I thought he was the one that was in the photo. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, not. I mean, even if he sent the staff, they probably would have just intercepted him and tried to kidnap her anyway. Yeah, you'd think they'd be a bit more concerned if he's missing. Especially with uh, interference from this other organization. Exactly, don't you work on the same team? お幼い頃に両親を亡くしてアメリカの親戚に引き取られるまでこっちの自動施設にいてね。どうしようもない私を同じ施設にいたおみないゆうくんだけはいつも元気づけてくれて。どうしても会いたかったの。The guy in the photo, when is the last time she saw him? Because I'm still seeing similarities between him and this guy here. Oh, yeah. Maybe it's a different person. Yeah. Well, now that I say that, it could be something similar to Section 9 in Ghost in the Shell, and I'm, because I'm already seeing a lot of similarities here, especially with the, the protagonist and his being part, you know, his cybernetics, right? And, and with Major Kusanagi from Ghost in the Shell, so I guess it could be kind of like a Section 9 organization that exists in the shadows. それだけ貴重な遺跡ってことなのかしら。ウェアウェアガードズ。ディスペシャス。ガードズアンドエア。オ。エアイトイズ。あ、ガッダメット。ラン。オン。Well, they won't kill her, at least I don't think so. They, they need her, it seems. Use the stairs! Ah. Well, he doesn't seem to be in a hurry. He's up oh, on top of the elevator. <laughs> yeah. Clearly, he's not human. Or he's enhanced, at least. Is he alone? Oh, he's not alone. No, it, because he's just walking so casually. But he knows that, you know, his friends are here. Where is this friggin' guy? And what's his name? Alright, this can't be a coincidence. It must be the same guy, right? Why didn't you stop them from the outside? <laughs> Guess it wasn't a question. Oh, there's a lot of them. Let's go! I guess it's not just his arms, but his upper body. Oh, 
Let's go. <laughs> nice. Great to see an anime where you can actually see the action and follow the movements, and it's not just screaming and a loud explosion, flash of light, and that's it. Alright, there's someone even more powerful nearby. Why would they do that? Oh. Is he using sound waves as well? Like the last guy? <laughs> Or is it air pressure of some sort? Oh. He's been studying you. I'm sure he knows all about your, your armor. Alright. He's not gonna be easy to take down. Shrine of Fire. Alright, so we've got Russia, the US, and Japan. Already we're going global, I like it. At least get him some help, some capable backup and not just guards that are just gonna die immediately. Yeah, the security team doesn't seem to work very well. Oh, she's been through a lot. Yeah, just a few short days. Oh, I think people are gonna die whether you do it or not. Is he you? It can't be a coincidence. He must be you, right? But she must know what he looks like. Unless she hasn't seen him. The photo she had was only with them as a kid, so maybe she hasn't. Oh, what? Can you? F oh, he has. Okay, he has a, a shoot on. Then I don't know how he was gonna get out of that one. All right. Arkham security is pretty trash, man. Who is that? I'm starting to think Arkham doesn't care if she dies or not. Sounds about right. <laughs> Corruption, devastation, yeah. Don't repeat our mistakes. Oh, here. Oh, Alright, the fact that we don't know his name yet, he must be you from her childhood. He has to be. Oh, they haven't gotten a single shot off. But I'm sure that other guy is not too far behind them. These are probably just pawns. Oh, damn. What the hell? Guy. But he bleeds. Okay. Alright, Victor. Let's see what you got. Just for power, balance my ass. He's gonna recover from that. 
So he's not a cyborg. He has flesh. So he's just regenerating. See if he's if his head is completely removed from his body, if that still regenerates. Oh. Oh, you've got to stay conscious, woman. <laughs> is this an ally or a foe? Oh. Now, weren't those his men? Unless Russia and the US are working together. Uh, Okay, so they were his allies. Where is the Arkham security team? I thought they were supposed to already be here. Is it that rare to find someone who can read this script? Yeah, and I'm sure you want peace on Earth. But he's still gonna die if you give the power to him. He obviously wants to kill you all. Why would she agree to that? Oh, it's been released, so did she read it? Or did he just release it? So she did read it. Why would she read it? <laughs> so I'm realizing no, so it's not that his arms were replaced, it's just covered in armor. Okay. So he's yeah. He'll still bleed. Man, this girl is so naive, though. Oh, betrayed him. Oh. Can't cut that. The fact that it broke is still odd. Oh, uh, come on, don't let that. That's kind of, I kind of liked him as a antagonist, you know. Surprised that he went down that easily. Next time, don't hand over the powerful artifact to enemies. Okay, Yes, in a way, she saved him too. Where are the people at this orphanage? <laughs> the child outside, weeping in the rain. And no one bats an eye. なぜ富士山六文明は溶岩に沈んで滅亡したんだろうな。火山活動を制御できるほどの高度な文明だったのです。
All right, episode one of Spriggan. That was an that was a fun episode. That was a really fun episode. Now, of course, you know, <laughs> in true anime fashion, we still see a lot of the same anime troops coming through. Um, you and um, the professor here being 16 years old, a 16 year old professor. I know there are prodigies, of course, out there, but um, in anime, it's typically you know every character, every pro um, focal character has to be a kid. Um, I do wish um, they would kind of update those sensibilities a bit, you know, because it's just unnecessary for the story. This could have worked just as well if they were adults. It would have worked just the same. So it really wasn't necessary. But I, I'm assuming that this was the, how old they were in the source material. So they're trying to stay true to the source material. Um, but that, that's just my only nitpick, um, you know, um, with that there. But one of the things I found refreshing was um, the fact that you is is not this um, sombering, angry emo character that um, has permeated anime fandom now in every um, in every story. You know, he actually likes the job that he's doing. He understands the job that he's doing. I still think there are some there's some shady stuff going on. I, I still don't trust the Arkham organization but he's you know he has a purpose and he's not fighting against you know what that purpose is and someone has to convince him that you know you are the only one who can do this and we may go that route where you know it's the the the, the typical chosen one character we may still go that route but even so um at the moment you know he's you know he's, he's not someone who's begrudgingly being pushed into this role um, it's a purpose and he he's trying to protect people and that's important to him and I, I, I like that because you don't see that for a whole lot you know um, and I don't know maybe it's because we have so many shonen anime coming out or coming to the west now why, why that gets pushed to the forefront and we don't see a lot more characters like this because all shonen characters have the same um, backstory tragic they don't want to do this but they have to um, and you know the, their personalities are one note you know um, but i like you here um so far and as I, I, I said it does remind me a whole lot of ghost in the shell because like um major uh, motoko kusunagi um she loves her job or at least she sees her job as necessary and she doesn't go around with a frown on her face all day she's not being forced into doing this um it's a job and i like that um i like that about it and um yeah, the Arkham organization here is very reminiscent of um, Section 9 from, from Gates as well. So there are a, a lot of um, similarities that I do see. A lot of the, the themes, um, you know, this ancient technology, um, you himself with the, the, the armor that he's wearing. I, at first I thought he was a cyborg of some sorts, but apparently not. He's just wearing an armor made of um, Orichalcum, which I haven't heard that since, I think, playing Final Fantasy. Uh, um, it's rare, met, rare um, metal, um, <laughs> but you know he's wearing this armor, and that's what um, you know he's using defensively. But it can be damaged or cut through. Um, but yeah, a lot of similarities in the aesthetics that a lot of '90s anime, '80s and '90s anime um, usually have. Um, are some hints of Armitage in there as well. Um, so yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really liking it. It's really bringing me back to a lot of those um, anime um, that, that that's from that that era, um, and it's nicely updating it for today because a lot of the themes that are being addressed here are very relatable to what's happening today. This ancient civilization, um, you know, leaving the, essentially a warning to not repeat the mistakes that they had that destroyed their civilization and. and I love that plotline. It's very interesting, very unique. Um, we don't see that being told often. Um, so I'm curious to see where they go with it. Um, we have other countries that are involved in this conflict, the US and Russia so far. So it's going to be a, a chase to see who gets to the artifacts in time. Um, but what will happen if one of them do obtain it? Um, I'm, I'm sure the Arkham organization can't stop every single one of them, you know? Um, so, so it'll be interesting and I'm curious to see whether the professor uh, whether she will return or um, there will be 
because she seems to have been pivotal to this particular episode in doing the translation so when they do find another artifact if they need someone else um or i guess depending on what language that is in um i guess there are several ways that they could go about go about it um but she's out for the time being safe i think that's a far better option for her um but um, I'm, I'm, I'm definitely intrigued i'm definitely intrigued this is the first I haven't seen a lot of recent anime that have piqued my interest and, and this has actually done a fantastic job of doing that so um, I, I can't wait to check out the, the other episodes alright guys um, be sure to post down below if you know what your thoughts are on the first episode of Spriggan uh, remember to hit that like and subscribe button and I'll see you for the next one